Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today, and it's going to be time for some more Europa Universalis 4 with the Rights of Man expansion as Russia. So, what are we up to? Well, right now, we are waiting for the printing press to spread in our country. I would love to embrace it within the next, like, century or so. <laughs> Let's see. We do have some Rebel Uprising. Oh, my God. We have 35,000 Kazaki Separatists. Holy shit. That means we got to get some troops back here to the west or to the east. Uh, how much is this? Wow, those rebels came up fast, man. Kazaki Separatists. Holy crap. 30 unrest in one province. Holy crap. Let's go ahead and take that there. Let's go ahead and go. Where's the unrest? Here. So we're going to wait for some money. And um, we're at 40% tech penalty right now. I would love to get this printing press here pretty soon, but I don't think that's going to happen. We're spending so much money on corruption. Oh my god. 8.5 ducats. 8.05 ducats a month. Wow. Look at that stack right there. So... Um, yeah, we are spending quite a bit of money on this on this military that we have here. It's a very powerful military, 102 regiments. We outnumber everybody, basically, except maybe the Ottomans. The Ottomans might, in fact, be the only um, land power that are stronger than us. What in the hell, dude? Are you serious? Oh, my God. The Ottomans have 180,000 men under arms, 100,000 manpower, 80,000 artillery, 7,000 cavalry, 92,000 fucking infantry. Wow, dude. <laughs> We're nowhere near those levels, dude. They outnumber us almost two to one. Oh my god. Dude, that's crazy, dude. The Ottomans are like OP now. <laughs> dude, that's incredible strength. Jesus. Uh, let's see. What's up with these rebels? Dude, those kebabs. Wow. That's crazy, man. Okay, so if we get into, if we get into a war with the Ottomans, we're gonna seriously need. I, I might need like two or three military ideas under my belt. We might we might even need to go like quantity or something. Actually, that would be such a good idea. Quantity, the levy and mass, national manpower modifier plus fifty percent. That'd be an extra thirty thousand. The uh, the young can serve manpower cover speed twenty percent. Enforced service regiment costs. The uh, the land maintenance modifier minus ten percent. I think we even have even more of a land maintenance modifier let's check our modifiers here how much how much is it actually let's go ahead and go over here so the land uh, maintenance upkeep yeah it's already minus 10 percent because the regimental system from defensive ideas if we get quantity that'd be an additional 10 percent that'd be 20 percent off of every cost so instead of inventory costing what is it um i think it's like the base is that's right the base is 10 Oh my god, that's right. Maintenance, uh, maintenance traditions also helps us out with inventory costs too. Our, our uh, Not our maintenance traditions, our Muscovite traditions. So that means that, um, yeah, we would also... We would also have um, that land maintenance modifier minus 20%. That means that inventory would be incredibly cheap. They're already kind of cheap. 0 0.17 per month. Uh, cavalry would be really nice to actually have cheap as well. Land maintenance modifier of minus 20% to cavalry would be pretty... Pretty significant, so damn, we're gonna want to try and get that, guys. Holy crap. That is that is crazy, dude. That's crazy power. That is that is incredible power. That is terrifying. That's funny, actually. I don't I don't know if the Ottomans ever had an army that big. Um probably not probably not until the 17th century. I'd have to do my my research on that one. <clears throat> All right, so we do have this coring. Let's check it out here. Uh, damn it, we keep we keep losing money. I need money, guys. Actually, I I really do need some money, um, to be able to support this large military. Yeah. So let's go. Let's go on. Uh, yeah, speed four for a little while. Let's see if we can build up some some spy network against Sweden. Get some coring done now. Hopefully this corruption is going to go away. We're still losing a shit ton of money. Wow. We make 65 ducats and we, we ex our expenses are 68. Dude, these advisors, man, they're 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 damn expensive. Yeah. I think I think they're well worth it though, to be honest, for the points. I think they are well worth it. We've lost a lot of manpower. Wow. This attrition is actually going to start to to hurt us, I should probably do this a little smarter, shouldn't I? 
Time to shake things up, lose prestige. Yeah, we're at we're at positive three stability. I don't I don't think it's okay if we take one hit. Um, the orthodox events are incredibly powerful. Let's go ahead and yeah, we got to try and stay up on tech. So we're gonna go ahead and take this here. Uh, clergy or nobility? Manpower cover speed. I already have pretty good manpower. I'm actually gonna go ahead and go with the clergy because I like that national tax modifier. Let's call it diet. Make those guys happy again. Yeah, that national tax modifier 15%. That's pretty damn significant actually. So. Hopefully we make some money now. Uh, let's go ahead and reduce the armor maintenance to almost nothing. Rooting out this corruption should definitely go down as well. I think we're just about done on this overextension here. Uh, we might have corruption because of the imbalanced research. Holy God, with no maintenance, we make 20 ducats a month. Wow. That is a crap ton. I could take some loans and try and get that, that technology that way, but that doesn't seem like the most financially reasonable thing to do so i kind of don't prefer to do it that way the winning order is actually embraced the printing press as well how, are they, how do they feel towards me are they friendly no they're actually threatened yeah i would be if i were you portugal uh let's see sweden allied with switzerland milan norway hungary okay so nobody important also how powerful is sweden france wow france is actually really weak the ottomans dude look at this Force limit of 232. Oh my god. That's so much. That's so much. Poland is actually pretty powerful. 67,000. That's that's half my strength. That's not bad. Great Britain's actually really powerful too. Is it, have they, has anybody colonized in the New World? Spain is getting up there. They actually own all of Italy so far. They could they could do as much as they wanted to without much resistance here. It looks like France. Uh are they trying to push back here into Burgundy? I'm not sure. Burgundy has a pretty pretty great alliance. So, in the Holy Roman Emperor, uh, Empire, I believe anybody can be the Emperor now. Yeah, because there's a religious peace. Yeah, the Emperor may be of any faith. That's cool. Inconclusive um, fighting here. So, so do I want to attack anybody over here? I would love to attack the Golden Horde, but I, I think I, I would prefer to take Poland on in one war and then the Golden Horde in another. Oh, that's right. Uh, our heir came of age. Cool. Uh, the two, three, five. 21 years old. Sweet. We have a pretender here. Let's go and uh, make short work of them. <clears throat> so let's take out this pretender here. Probably don't need too much morale for these guys. Yeah, no, minus one. That's a damn shame, but okay. It's fine. Uh yeah, we only lost four thousand to their to their losses. Um Alright, let's march up on in there. Military ideas, four years away. I don't know if we're gonna get this this tech in four years. Or these uh these this printing press. So I might have to hold off on that military idea. I'd rather have the uh, the technology for the military ideas. Or military tech. I cannot talk today. Spy network construction, uh, yeah, because we are fabricating on on Sweden. I know there's a mission to take Finland, but I haven't gotten it, and I kind of don't want to wait for it. I'd rather attack uh, Sweden on my own terms when when we have some time to work with, because um, we actually we're relatively relatively isolated uh, because we're waiting for a lot of this aggressive expansion to go down. So I, I could attack like Oirat or something because they are Tengri. Um, they're allied with Korea, who is a big monster over there, and then they're allied with Chu, who is uh, this little guy here. So I could go after the Oirat, but uh, ooh, our, our colony's been done. I wonder for how long that's been. Let's go ahead and move the colonists there. <clears throat> that was weird. I, I clicked on the diplomatic relations group and uh, it didn't pop up to my claims. What? That's weird. Let's see. Gain 10 legitimacy. Hell yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, because our, our, our weak claim, our legitimacy is weak. Because of uh, this this girl here, she had a weak claim. So, should I get a royal marriage with anybody? I am allied to Great Britain. Austria does like me. In fact, I would love... How powerful is Austria? I'm not going to lie, an alliance with Austria might not be a bad idea. 30,000 men. They're, they're rival to Poland. They're rival to Burgundy. Uh, they, they hate Sweden as well. Yeah, I think, honestly, I think we're going to do the, the unholy alliance. We're going to do uh, Austria, Russia, and Great Britain as an as an axis and actually we'll go ahead and take royal marriages with both of these guys um personal union or monarch death great britain and austria are they rival to each other 
No, they actually like each other, yeah, because Austria's reformed and then Britain is Protestant, so they don't really have too much of a reason to hate each other. Uh, let's see here. Prove legitimacy, yeah, that'd be cool. Conquer Eastern Poland, I would love to if I had some uh, some money. So let's go ahead and lower that army maintenance. Uh, rebels are going to rise up here soon. Oh, God, look at that. Jesus. We have some serious rebel problems. I don't know if we can lower maintenance for a while. Golden Horde is going to spring up for sure. Who's over here? This is uh, Sabir, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. There's like 20 unrest. Let's go and take another idea group here. So right now we have defensive. We have expansion. We have quality. I would love another military idea group, but we have to take something here. We're already pretty far behind in admin as it is. Uh, innovative ideas would help out with technology costs, the institution embracement cost minus 10%. That's huge. That is huge. But dude, I haven't even made progress here. So what to do here? I, I was actually thinking about taking, I was thinking about taking exploration, but I'm actually kind of holding off on it because once we reach the far east, I mean, a lot of this is already colonized, right? So once we reach the far east, call, um, exploration isn't going to be very useful. And so I was actually considering going for uh, influence because here for... We actually get one colonist from here. We get one colonist from here. So that means two colonists already. Plus, we already did get that global settler increase. Uh, we get additional diplomats here, shipbuilding time, and global trade power. Plus, uh, the permanent cast of spell against less advanced nations in Asia and Africa, which would be these guys, I think. Um, plus, that state maintenance. Honestly, that plus my my Siberian frontier idea. Two colonists already is pretty good. This colonialism will give us four. But the question is, is it worth it, right? For all those points, is it worth it just to push to, to the Far East? I don't think it is. I actually think going influence might be better. Uh, considering that we have a level five advisor, I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pick... Admin. I'm going to focus on admin here for a little while. Oh my god. The Ottomans are no longer a valid rival. 305%. Oh, that's that's not right. Yeah, no. They have, uh, they're have they 69% stronger than us. Broken Alliance. So what, the Ottomans don't... Do they like me or something now? What, what's up with them? I don't, I don't get it. I'll still rival them. I don't, I don't get what's going on there. It's weird. Wow, I actually can't even embrace the printing press anymore. I don't even know what happened here. It needs to be in 10% of our autonomy, and I have, I guess, too much autonomy? I don't know. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, actually. I'll have to check that out. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, why don't we move some troops? Uh, I'll move, like, 45,000 over here. And how big are these? These in um, wow, forty-one thousand in no guy. Wow, twenty-five thousand in the golden horde. Kazan, no guy, huh? No guy has got. You mean you mean down here? Really? There's no guy. Uh, no guy separatists. Really, sixty percent. Where is that? Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised. I got this sixty percent already. Let's go and take like 40,000. We'll move 40,000 over here in um, in Siberia. We can uh, create another state, Yurtesh. Where's that? Yurtesh, I think, is here. Yeah, because this is, this is Siberia. Okay, should we create a state here? Uh, we'll cost us 0 0.41 in maintenance. That's weird. You can't move this this dialogue here. No, actually, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, this will give us about twenty-two in income. This is this will cost us zero point four one in maintenance, so it's not worth it. What about state maintenance here? Yeah, let's take a look at this here. Um, I mean, is it worth it for some of these states here, like Ashim or uh, Ural, Saratov? They they don't make a lot of money. Hmm. That's actually interesting to consider. I probably should have considered that before I started making states everywhere, huh? Oh, well. We have no air at the moment. I would love to have an air. Hot chocolate. Wow, Britain just discovered hot chocolate. That's funny. 
Dude, look at that unrest. Look at that. We're gonna have to put down some serious rebels. Holy crap. Okay, so we're definitely not making a lot of money. That's a pretty serious problem. This printing press here, yeah, this is gonna affect us quite a bit. I'd hopefully not not want to stay behind too long. Um a newborn daughter. Wow, we've had women on the throne forever. There's been no males for a while. A noble of the Rookeridge family with an average claim becomes heir. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's fine. 215, I'll take it. Elizaveta, yeah. Sure. Uh, and then we have a marriage. Uh, 524 is our new prince. Damn, 524. Can you, like, die? Can can I have my queen die so I can have this guy, a 524, for a while? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Golden Horde Separatists are going to rise up. These damn Ottomans, man. They're so powerful, I can't even rival them anymore. This legitimacy. Three mercantilism is nice. But less legitimacy. I might have to go for this. I already have 10% mercantilism. Wow, that prevents the trade modifier. Plus 20% at 10 mercantilism. Wow, that's incredible. I'm going to go with the legitimacy. I think I do need the legitimacy. It's kind of hard to come by. Um... Uh, yeah, we got to prove our legitimacy here. Sweden. Sweden, you want to go to war, Sweden? Can I attack you? Can I attack you, Sweden? <clears throat> let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, let's go for... I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Rovianiemi. We'll go for Osterbotten. Um, Yearly Prestige. Damn it, we lost our, um, our level 3 half cost advisor. Let's go for the National Tax Modifier, dude. How's this, um... Wow, dude, that, that bread relations over time is still not really kicking in for those guys. Those guys seriously dislike me. Golden Horde, Sunni Zealots, Golden Horde, Separatists. We're making a lot of money now. 10 ducats with full uh, maintenance. We're about to take this military idea. Or military tech. Sweden just embraced the printing press. Damn it. Whoopsies. I gotta wait for this here. Yeah, we don't want to take this just yet. We gotta wait one year. Golden Horde Separatist rose up in Saratov. Ostrakhani Separatist down here. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have some serious unrest here. Damn. Okay, let's wait for some of these rebels to fire. And then, uh, preferably, we would invade Sweden. I think that'll be good. That would be, that would be pretty cool. It's already 1595. Wow. We still need this printing press, guys. It's pretty serious. Let's see, how's the institutions? Poland. It is spreading to Poland now, actually. Look at that. Most of most of the um most of the world has already embraced it. Most of the important world anyway. Russia shall not be behind. I do want to take a look at it. Let's go ahead and go to the printing press here. 2300 ducats. Holy crap. 2300 ducats to embrace this. That's incredible. Uh, it's going to spread faster in this direction because we are bordering it now that has it. Uh, the Vonians have it. Sweden has it. Poland has it. They don't, I don't even think they have to be friendly. I can just get it because they have it. 90% on these Sunni Zealots to Blosk. Somewhere, I think, in this area. Let's go and take this military tech. 13 years ahead. I'm loving it. We're seriously behind in Diplo and Admin, though. It's going to be a, a pretty bad problem. Ooh! Austria is the new emperor. Sweet! That's good for us. We're allied to the Emperor now. Kick ass. <clears throat> Livonians won Condottieri. We're at war with a lot of people. Sick, dude. I, I just allied the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, Holy Roman Emperor. That is badass. 10 legitimacy. Yep, please. I'll take it. Uh, what's going on over here? Brabantian Separatists. What the hell? How'd that happen? Wow. Uh, we had a revolt here. Let's go ahead and march on in there. 131, 13, 6, and 3. I wonder, can we take that? We get a crossing penalty and, and a terrain penalty. I'd prefer for them not to convert this back, though. Well, it already is. Yeah, it already is Sunni, so it doesn't really matter. But we should be able to take that on one-on-one. -on -one. Do I have good army tradition? Sort of. It, I think it's a baseline of 50, so taking taking this hit isn't that bad. I don't really need generals and stuff at the moment. Uh, some of these real problems have been kind of cleared up a little bit. Caustic expansion. Base manpower, sure. That's fine. 
<clears throat> okay, so any other rest? It's we still have some here. I mean, it's getting taken care of though. It's it's not it's not too bad. It's getting up there. Who are these guys? This is um I think Zahn, right? No, this is uh who is this? Damn it. Siberian, that's right. Yes, yeah, the Siberian. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. Yeah, Siberian Separatist, please rise up so I can kill you. Come on, man. Do it. Do it. <clears throat> okay. So what's our next plan? Well, let's let's keep waiting for this damn printing press. It's gonna take a long time to get there. Makes me mad. Twenty three hundred ducats. Jesus. That's so bad, man. That's so bad. <laughs> oh my god. That's so bad. Um, after this, I think our rebel problems will be will be taken care of. We'll definitely want to invade Sweden. They're allied with Norway, Hungary, Switzerland, and Milan. Uh, wait, 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 what, 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 what? Oh, look at this. Polish conquest of Radislav. Poland declared a war on the Holy Roman Empire. And guess who's going to defend them? Austria. Okay, you know what that means, guys. You know what that means. We go to war with Poland. Oh, yeah. Let's finish up with this revolt, then we, we invade Poland. Yes, you read my mind. Let's make sure we have all this territory. Yep. Uh, superior unit types, Southern Caustics. Wait, wait, no, artillery? Yes, artillery. Polish conquest of Radoslav against um, Poland, Bosnia, and the Palantinate. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's mobilize, guys. Let's do this. <clears throat> Oh my god, we're ahead of them in military tech. Holy crap. Poland just bit off more than they can chew. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here, and uh, we're going we're gonna to fight Poland in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much.